Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner and your Monday mini class which is actually on Monday this week. Uh, so welcome my friends. I'm gonna refresh a couple things and make sure we're all good to go. So if you should happen to be here, when is this? This is Monday, oh November 1, November 1, 2021. So if you are here on Facebook, of course, um, when you jump on, now you might not hear this, but you know to do this. Give me a like, give me a love, let me know that you're watching, say hello. Um, it's always appreciated. And if you're watching later on Facebook or on YouTube, it's the replay, also good. Comments and questions are always welcome then. So this week in the Crafty Corner, it's Gratitude Week. So we're gonna talk all week long about things that we're grateful for. Um, and we're going to make projects that can help support um, sharing gratitude or just um, making yourself aware of gratitude for yourself. So we'll, we'll talk about that more later. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, I know. My little, uh, my little freebies are missing. Um, I will do a drawing. I meant to do it before this video from the video I did on Friday. I'm gonna give out two, I'm gonna send two little make and take packets out. Um, so I'll just have to surprise you with a post tomorrow about that. So hello Roz, welcome. Okay, so we're gonna talk, so the beginning of this video, it's November 1, 2021, we're gonna talk about um, some upcoming classes and specials from Stampin' Up! And then I'm gonna show you how to make a really fun card and we're gonna play that you can, I love cards um, that you can make with any paper, any, things but you use the same layout it's such a fun good tool to have in your your um, crafting arena so we are gonna go down to the desk Ta -da! and I am even gonna put oh hello I'm back again my bad <laughs> let's try this one more time okay I remember now it's just a matter of pressing the buttons in the right order now we did it. okay and now I gotta take my sweatshirt off because it got hot <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't have to take it off. It's fine. It's a little chilly, but apparently I did. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's talk uh, for a moment just about the Eden's Garden um, early release collection. So what this means is we have a um, January to June catalog coming and all the Stampin' Up! demos are getting all excited, right? Because in like, I think two weeks, we'll get to see it. And those of us doing the on stage at home, which I, I showed you, I um, totally previewed my box when it came, I think it was last week. I don't even remember now. I was just so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to show them. Um, so we're getting all excited about new products. Um, and I think it's a good thing. I mean, we need things to look forward to. We need the, if you're a crafter, you need new stuff. You just really do. It, it's just the way it is. Um, so what this is, is it's a bundle and I can show you the bundle. The bundle is a beautiful stamp set, oops, there we go, um, which has some fun little greenery, although you can stamp them in other colors, little leafy things, and some really nice sentiments. I'm really liking the sentiments. There are some very fun dies. You make a big wreath, you can make this little wreath. There's an edge die, there's a, um, I like this one a lot too. And then there's one little leaf. So there's some, definitely this is more for our, um, you know, you like things a little more frou-frou, you like things a little bit more, you're more of an avid crafter, or you just love uh, gardening and greenery and it just calls to you. So there's this bundle. This will be in the January to June catalog. So it's not that you absolutely have to order this tomorrow when it becomes available, which it does on November 2nd. But what is limited, and I'll show you this again, is that Ever Eden DSP the Ever Eden cotton paper, the gems. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Ooh, hold on, we're out of focus there. Okay. Um, and of course you could order it all as a big bundle. However, if you're thinking that you want all of this paper and gems, I've got a deal for you. For just a little bit more, you could join my um, Eden's Garden Stamp Camp to go. And I know this is not looking the right color. Apparently I'm out of a color in my printer. So you get a slightly, it's just a hair off um, printout. And what this includes, what a Stamp Camp to go is, I partner with the Makers Mojo group. There's four demos. We each design three projects. I will show you mine in just a moment. And you will get all of the paper for 12 projects, right? So any extra cardstock, if there's a die that does not come 
in here, we will die cut it. Now, if it comes in here, like I'll give you an example in a moment, you have to die cut it yourself, right? The idea is that you use the products to make these things. And if you just want the PDF, you can get that. That's 20 bucks because um, you would buy all your own stuff. But if you're thinking about it, um, it includes a whole pack of the DSP, two sheets of the cotton paper. So you don't get a whole pack of that, but two sheets. Um, the Flowers for Every Season ribbon, which is three spools of ribbon, and my white is all gone. So um, there's a white, there's this beautiful gingham, and then there's a blue and silver sparkly. And what else? And a package of the gems. Let me show you these gems. They are super fun. They are super sparkly. So there's kind of a red color, and then there's a sparkly green color in a really neat leaf shape. I really like these. Now, the gems and the paper are while supplies last. So they could go in just a couple weeks. The butterfly paper went crazy fast last year. Um, so if you wanna get this and you know it, let me know because I'm probably gonna place orders like periodically. Um, and then you would order your own bundle. If you order the bundle from me, you have two choices. If you say, hey, add it to my order, I will pay the tax and the shipping for you. If you want it sooner, because this whole kit will probably come out towards the end of November, um, you could order with the host code, and I'm going to include an extra project for you. So that's a lot of information. It's all on my website. It's all on Facebook under events, um, and it all came out in an email. So if you um, want to know more, let me know. So now let me show you projects, though, real fast. Oh, wait, let me show you the paper. I did do a whole little um, product spotlight on this, so if you want to go look at that, you could totally could. Um, a lot of the paper has this beautiful gold in it, and I actually really like the backsides to a lot of the paper. It's really pretty. And then the cotton paper is this. It's like a little heavier than tissue paper, and it comes in two colors, evening evergreen and soft succulent, two of my favorite colors. Okay, so that's the paper. All right, so let's talk projects. Okay, guys, I am so excited. Look at this cute box. Look at this. This is a big box. It takes two pieces of cardstock. It will come, if you order the stamp camp, it will come to you cut and scored. All you have to do, um, you'll have to trim the edges, but um, you know, to make the, the box, you'll have to do that. It's a pretty simple box, but it's so pretty. And look, it's so big. It will hold, I think, 10 or maybe more cards on envelopes. So you could make all the projects and stick them in here. And look at this, look how pretty that is. And then I challenged myself to make something that was not the same colors, cause you know, sometimes 12 projects all in the same color could be too much. Isn't that pretty? So these are the three projects I designed and the ones designed by the other um, demos are super awesome too. And look at that cool bow. I'll teach you how to do that, yep. So that is my set of projects. All right, and that is my commercial for, hey Lisa, that's my commercial for the uh, Eden's Garden early release and my Eden's Garden um, stamp camp to go. So there you go. Now, ha -ha, watch this, we're going to make this card. I made this using the Eden's Garden um, supplies, but we are going to make this in two different ways because I want to show you how you can take a basic layout and you can um, make cards. And we need to send hugs, we need to send thank yous. Um, you know, we need to be grateful um, for the connections we make, whether it's here online or it's in person. And so I thought that was really a pretty card. And you know, I'm on a vellum kick, so see that pretty little rectangle of vellum. So this is what I'm gonna teach you how to make and give you instructions for. Okay, uh, where are our supplies? Okay, so we're gonna make two. And our first one, we're gonna go fall because you know, when it's gratitude week, I love Christmas, and you know I do Christmas from like July to December, right? Um, but we did a lot of Halloween last month, and so this month we're going to do a lot of fall things. And so we are going to use this beautiful Blackberry Bliss paper. Same exact layout, but we're going to um, adventure into this, uh, whatever this, Emephra pack, and see if we can come up with something cute to put on our card. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, Blackberry Bliss <laughs> Blackberry Bliss card base. All right, say that four times real fast. Um, super easy measurements. The back piece is four by five and a quarter, and then this front piece is just three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. 
and this is cinnamon cider and early espresso. So we're gonna go ahead and put those together. I think I actually pre-cut everything this time. Sometimes I don't get it all pre-cut and we get to cut it together, but I wanted to make two so that you could see um, how the same card design, although the second one, you know I had to get crazy and do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted you to see how you can take the same layout and get something a little different just by changing the colors and what goes on there. And that's what I love. Okay. The little strips of paper are cut to one inch by one, two, three, four, four and three fourths on this one. All right. So this Blackberry Bliss, we have, well, okay. I will tell you 100%, this is my favorite piece right here. Um, my gnome banners, I use that for the hat because I love that. Which, by the way, I still have three of those. I don't understand. Maybe the love of gnomes has, has decreased. But uh, anyway, I do have three of those gnome banners left. So if anybody wants one, let me know. Um, we have that. Do I want that side? Yeah, I want that side up. Well, I don't know. See, this is the problem. When the paper is good on both sides, you're not sure which side you want to put up. What's on the back of this? Oh, the little, like, little sticks. You know what? I'm going to think I'm going to do this. All right. There we go. I'm happy with that. All right. So when you're doing something with pan with um, strips, what I recommend is, okay, don't have your card crooked. <laughs> Put it on your grid paper, all nice and lined up. Line up your pieces. You know what? I am going to switch that. I'm going to put this one here. Line up your pieces, and then you're going to put the middle one on first. Okay. And I'm telling you, it takes concentration to line them up. Line them up. You could put them closer together. You could put them farther apart. I'm going to go with something kind of in the middle. Okay. And let yourself know that the chance of you getting them perfectly straight is pretty slim, and that's okay. So, a um, little stamp and seal here. Uh, sometimes using your liquid glue can help with this a little bit, but I'm going to be bold. I'm going to be bold. All right, it's going between those two lines right there and there. And if you don't press it too fast, sometimes you can pull it up. All right, it's going to be what it's going to be. I think that's a, some lines to a song. All right, second piece going on. So this card, and I will tell you um, that I actually did use some strips. I think I had to cut them down a little, but I had little leftover pieces, and it can come in handy. Now, if you're making a lot, it's actually easier just to cut a bunch of one-inch strips and then do it. Uh, but if you're just making one, look in your bin. Look in your bin. See what you got, or your bag, whatever, however you store your paper. Okay, look at that. I totally have a bigger border on that side. That's right. We'll distract the receiver of this card with a little bit of vellum. So this vellum, do I have the square? Oh, I do. You don't have to cut it with a die, but I did cut it with, which die did I use? That one. So you could go smaller or bigger. You could go skinnier. You know, just do it as a little focal point. But I did cut it with a rectangle, but you could also just cut it out. That would be totally fine to just cut it out. Okay, so don't stick your vellum down yet. We need to figure out, oh, let's go ahead and put this, because I'm not going to add ribbon. I'm going to do it the same as that one. Let's put it on our card base. Good. I love cinnamon cider. Anybody else love this cinnamon cider? I need to get some apple cider. I need to have some apple cider before I have some eggnog. <laughs> I gotta honor my my seasons, right? All right. Mm, yeah, I can show you how to make a slightly crooked card. I am very good at it. But I think sending and so my challenge to you this week is to send at least one card off in the mail this week. I'd like you know two or three or something, but you know I don't want to like hurt you. So send what will work for you. A thank you, a thinking of you, uh, send them a hug. I love that stamp in that. I think that's awesome. Okay, so here is our Ephra pack. We have a lot of different things in here. So we are going to use some of them. 
Maybe. Ooh, that's pretty, that little tag. But that is too big, right? It covers up too much of my uh, space. Let's see if there's a littler one. Ooh, look at that. That's really pretty. It's got the same little print. Okay, I'm going to leave that there just in case. I'm not sure if this is back in stock. I know it went out of stock for a little while or it was unorderable, I don't know. The whole shipping thing is getting a little crazy. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe we'll just use that one piece and we'll add, that's really pretty though, because see that is nice. You can see a lot of my vellum and we'll just add, let's see, what about this one? Ooh, I like that, okay. I am totally happy. I think I'm happy with just those two pieces. Let's see, just in case. Sometimes I change my mind. That one's too big. Ah, there we go. Now I'm happy. Okay. Ooh, look at that one, though. Isn't that pretty? I wonder, was there a stamp that looked like that? That would be a beautiful stamp. It doesn't go with this card as well, I don't think. Okay, so I'm going to use those pieces I have. Lisa, the gold vellum, hold the presses, hold the presses. I actually have, I can do it really fast. I have the gold vellum here. I don't know. It might be really awesome. All right. How big is this die? This die is, so four and a quarter by three. We'll just do that. Oh, I'm excited. I've only used this a little bit. This is why it's good sometimes to do this together <laughs> with friends. All right, and then do, I wonder if I need my big die cutting machine or can I die cut this? Uh, like I said, I could have just cut it in a square, but we're, we're embracing this cute little die. Can I die cut this on my mini? I've got my mini out here. All right, you know it gets messy when you got a die cut. All right, this might be a little rough because, oh, actually, nope, I can't do any angles. So what I normally recommend when you have a straight die is it's hard work on that roller to do that one piece. So a lot of times I say put it at an angle. We can only get a little tiny angle here, but I think we can do a little. All right, and we're gonna see if we can make gold vellum work here. Now, definitely gold vellum. Uh, all that Eden's Garden, those dies would cut out beautifully. Oh, and that rolled right through. You know what? We're going to roll it back. Um, oh, there we go. They would cut it out. Any kind of leaves will cut out beautifully with um, your gold vellum. But let's see. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, take that off. I had this out because um, on our next card, we might have to die cut like a tree or something. I wasn't 100% sure. Okay, I got to move some things out of the way. All right. So this is how I do it. They're, um, the rectangles are not super fun to do a whole bunch of things because the paper, especially vellum, really sticks in there. And then I take my finger nail and very gently take that off. It looks so pretty. Ooh, all right, so we should all make cards with Lisa because she is a genius. Let's see. It was a little rougher on that side. I kind of feel like we could go with that. Let's see. Let's put these on here. It's definitely very yellow. So that is with the gold which this paper has gold in it. And then let's see, can I take all that off? And this is with the regular vellum. I think it looks good with both. I think it looks good with both. So you know what, we're gonna put that gold vellum on. And I'm gonna give you a couple vellum tips. Okay, so these are my vellum tips. Place your vellum where you want it. Then place your Oh, we should probably stamp that, huh? We should totally stamp that. And I got out the stamp that is in... I did not get the stamp set that like was marketed to coordinate with this. I got the Nature's Harvest. We're going to put this thank you. Oh, and that's where... 
<laughs> I was doing a little cleanup earlier and I had a few stamps that I wasn't sure where they went. Ta-da! That's where the stamp goes. Okay, so anyway, I have the thank you out. Let's go ahead and stamp it in early espresso. Oh, that's so pretty. That little writing is very pretty. All right, so I can send someone a thank you card. I actually, just um, last week, oh, I know I'm going to send this. Well, I don't actually know, know them. I got an order online last week um, from someone I don't know, and that was pretty darn exciting. So I'm guessing that she watches my videos or follows me on social media. I don't know. Or she randomly lives in the Frederick area, and she's like, oh, I need to order a couple things. So I'm going to send her a thank you card. Isn't that fun? All right. So pick this up. Flip it over. No, don't flip it over. Hold on. My bad. We want to attach it first. <laughs> so I am going to attach it with um, dimensionals. And I'm going to put three dimensionals across here. I'm trying to give you my secrets and then uh, I'm messing my own secrets up. That's pretty crazy. All right, now get your vellum where you want it. Put your little piece where you want it. I'm telling you, I am so crooked some days. All right, then here is where, I probably should have lined it up. I was probably on the right path at the beginning. Put your adhesive there, okay? So it's okay if this is only held on by a little bit because it weighs nothing, the vellum weighs nothing. All right, and then I'm going to put it here. Good. Yeah, if you did the Maker's Mojo thing, I did a whole bunch of techniques with vellum back in, when was that? Beginning of October, I think it was. Okay, and then let's hope that I left good spaces with my, okay, I'll take that. I didn't, I put my dimensionals on already and I didn't think about my little pieces. Okay, so I'm going to use glue dots to attach them. Yes, I played with vellum a lot in that. Um, and yeah, and if you want to save the date, we're doing Maker's Mojo again on January 22nd. It's a Saturday. Pencil it in. I want it to go through a little bit. Um, it's going to be really nice. So we'll be doing things from the new um, January to June catalog. And I'll also do my own little open house in there sometime in January. So i got to work that out. Okay, and I feel like you can see. There we go. Can I, mm, can I feel it? So now, see how I have more stuff there? I can put a glue dot or two underneath my vellum since I don't have such a big circle because I'm actually going to put a glue dot behind the flower. I think I'm good. That's all the glue dots I need. So there, ooh, do we have gems that go with this? What, there's no, I feel like I like gems on everything. And I also feel like that's crooked. We have gold, hold on. One of my favorites are the, you have to tell me if this is one of your favorites. The Gilded Gems, do you have these? These are like faceted, they have, um, they have a little bit of, uh, I don't know, shape to them. They are super pretty, because I, you know, this card is a blingy card. And it's fun to have all of the beauty. There we go. And you could have added some gold twine there, would look really pretty. You could really pep that up a little bit more if you wanted. Okay, so we're gonna make one more. And we're gonna make a Christmas one. I know, I know. Halloween just happened, Thanksgiving, but we are gonna honor fall and Thanksgiving all week long. Hey Deb, welcome. Okay, so we have one with Eden's Garden. We have one with, I don't know, Blackberry Bliss. <laughs> we'll just call it that. 
And now our last one, we're gonna play with whimsy and wonder. So we're gonna go Christmas style. And then just to keep us on our toes, hold on, I can put this up like this. I like you to be able to see them all. Okay, and just to keep us on our toes, we are gonna make it be a horizontal card. So I cut out all these little pieces. So to do horizontal, you could have done your three one inch strips. I didn't even think about it actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but I went ahead and cut, and I don't know that I'm gonna put all these on. These are three fourths by three and a half, I think. Yes, three fourths by three and a half. So I wanted them still to be vertical strips, but if you had strips going three strips the other way, and you change the orientation of your, boy, sorry, that is really crooked. I don't know if I can fix it. Um, you could do it that way too. But I went ahead and did them a different size, just for fun. Just for fun. All right, so, but the rest of the dimensions are the same. Regular card base size, five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, and then this is mint macaron and crumb cakes. So we're gonna put those together. And I did the same thing. The mint is four by five and a quarter. And then this is an eighth inch smaller. So it's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth for the crumb cake. You could emboss that, but you know, there's already a lot going on. So I didn't feel that was totally necessary, but you could if you wanted. Okay, so let's put this on. Gotta stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> I have a stand up desk, so to, I like to be able to look down over it. Okay, that's on. And can I put it, and I can put it on my card base since I'm not doing any ribbon on this set of cards. Did that go? I think I'm at the end. You know, when you get to the end, it gets real stiff. Ooh, but I got some left. And keep on going. Oh, that's the end end. All right. I'm going to grab a refill. Oh, I thought we were going to make it through all, all the cards with that one. But apparently, I was wrong. I should really have like a second right here, right? So I just grab the next one. But that'll be on my to-do list. So you pop that out. I always, because there's always extra goo in there, I always then clean up the goo. That sounds really funny. But mine, I don't know, they always get messy. And I mean, I'm a moderately messy crafter, but I'm not the messiest crafter I've seen. Although occasionally some days, I'm wondering what has happened. <laughs> Where is my house? All right, we got this on. All right, and then, you know, once I get this done, I gotta go vote for, for Cody in Dances with the Stars. I can't believe I'm watching this show. I had never watched it before, and I like dancing shows, but I was like, oh, I don't want, but, you know, gotta support my Peloton family. There we go. Now we have adhesive. Okay, well, let's put this on. <laughs> I've got, like, gooey stuff everywhere. All right. I was undecided about this green on top of green, but I decided I was gonna go with it. I almost reversed it, but I was like, I kinda like it once I get used to it. All right, so now we're going, I definitely wanna use this one, because it has little presents. I thought that was cute. Let's see how many, because I think I did a card, maybe it was one of the Just Cards semi-recently, a couple months ago, where we did strips, but they were a little smaller and we zigzagged them. But I think I'm gonna keep these nice and straight straight ish ish <laughs> um ooh, here's a sparkly one so i feel like five is enough all right so let's there we go sparkle sparkle non-sparkle sparkle okay so now we need to get them a little bit straight or try all right so we want one in the center and then i've got the vellum ready and we're just going to stamp something cute on the circle We'll be good to go. I swear that one looks fatter. I wonder if it really is or if it's just the illusion of what's on the paper. But you know, there's always a little variance, especially when you're cutting something little. Okay, I feel like that's relatively good. I'm gonna try to be very careful and take them up one at a time. 
I don't think there's an up or a down on that one. Okay. That's one. Ooh. That side had the pretty... I love that one with the snowflakes. Ooh, I could put one of those snowflakes on here. Okay. And I know I'm behind on regular class posts, so you're going to get an email from me sometime later in the week. It's going to have all the information you need because I have a lot of other work that I have to do. Um, our yoga studio, we're going to do t-shirts, and so I'm... I'm in charge of marketing. <laughs> so actually while I watch Dances with the Stars tonight, I'll be on my laptop and I'll be designing our t-shirts. So yeah, if anybody wants a Mountain Spirit Yoga t-shirt, let me know. I'll send you the link when we get it done. We order through Custom Ink and it's really nice because um, our student, that way we don't have to keep inventory. It's kind of like Stampin' Up, you know, you don't have to keep inventory, which is good. It saves you your bottom line and we don't really make a ton of money on them, but um, it's nice to have them. I like having them. All right, so then this is going to go here. Here's our circle and our scallop circle. Very cute. And let's find a stamp set. Okay. I was thinking about the ornaments on there and then the little word joy right there. That might be fun. And then I feel like we need something, though. Something to stick behind it. I'm looking in my... I have, like, the messiest stash over here. Oh, what about... Oh, no, this is... Is that gold? Is it silver? It's silver, so not this piece of gold ribbon. I've got a bunch of random gold ribbon over here. Um, I've got some white ribbon. But you know what we're going to do? We are going to do... Let me open a drawer over here. We are going to do the silver trim. Ta-da! There we go. Okay. So let's put these on some blocks. I got a couple blocks out. All right. Our ornaments. We might give them a super fast color. So we'll stamp them in our memento. All right. And I'm going to have to test this. I did just re-ink this, and I want to make sure. I re-inked it earlier today. Oh, I'll show you what I colored. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, hmm, and I can't really, I wonder how can I, sh look at this, isn't this pretty? This is totally random. <laughs> Let's see, okay, you're gonna laugh. I gotta see if I can show you my leggings. I don't know if I, I am flexible, but let's see. Oh, so I got these new leggings. Do you see that? See how they're black and they have these really pretty flowers? Okay, you can't see, the pink one is all the way up here above my knee, but it has really pretty flowers. And the whole time I'm teaching yoga today, I'm like, Oh my gosh, I should make a card like that. Doesn't everybody show you their leg in their bit crap video? And this is the new stamp set um, that we got for the On Stage at Home. So it'll be in that January to June catalog. And so I colored them, and then I colored the background black. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put that on a card. The bad thing is I meant to take a picture because um, I won't be wearing these leggings tomorrow. But I thought that was really fun. And so it's kind of fun how you can be inspired by your clothes, by something you see. Um, yeah, so so there you go. But I just saw that. And I had to re-ink my black. Ooh, that's so pretty. That is so, so pretty. Okay. And then what color should Joy be? I feel like Joy should be... And this is polished pink, so let's try that. All right, I gotta practice this. All right, I, you know I have, I'm always conflicted when I have new grid paper. All right. Joy, you know what? We're gonna go like this. Joy, joy, joy. Joy. There we go. That's kind of fun. Oh, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> I'm pretty sure her gorgeous applies to my my coloring and my adding black. So I know now we're all going to be doing it. You can get at any flower stamp you have and add some black. 
behind it. I think it looks really pretty. All right, and then we're gonna do that big bow thing. Okay, so now I like it on that side. So I know that I can put my adhesive behind there. Okay, and then that's where my circle's gonna go. Yeah, so I was supposed to be preparing for this video and I had to take a break and color and stamp that flower set because I was very excited about it. Because I thought about it all morning at work and then I was like, oh, I need to remember to. Okay, so you just fold it in thirds and just squeeze it in the middle. You don't even have to tie it. And then give it a little adhesive to stick down on. Or I think I've seen in Stampin' Up! videos, they stick it to this. But I like to stick it down and then put my dimensionals on the sides. And then I bet we have some... Ooh. Oh, so apparently I did not attach that. You know what, actually, let's color these. <laughs> let's color these ornaments really fast since I just realized I didn't attach it. Okay, let's go with some mint. We're gonna color these super fast. We're not gonna do anything fancy because they are tiny. Okay, a little mint. And then a little misty moonlight. And I'm just using the light ones from each of these. Little misty moonlight, see if I can keep that star not colored. We'll see how I do for a best color. Okay, and then some pink. We don't have Blushing Bride, but we do have the Polished Pink. Okay, and then we'll give that, this one, the green in the middle. Give that one. I should have done Polished Pink over here for this little star, but it's too late now. And we'll do, let's do the Polished Pink here in the middle. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll put those away later. Okay, so now that I, uh, <laughs> I forgot to put that on. Oh, oh, this reminds me. Hold on, I'm going to show you that piece again. This card, you're going to be like, Audra, this was the most distracted card you've ever made. Okay, so this looked really pretty like this. Look at the back. Isn't that cool? I think that is very cool. I don't know why. I mean, this is really pretty, but that is very cool. All right, oh, and those are ready. Those are ready for a little joy. And I kind of feel like we should then, hold on. Let your heart be light is coming on here too. And then we're done, I promise, I promise. Let's see, I've still got a few more orphan stamps I'm working on. Gotta figure out where they go. All right, and I need a little strip of paper, one of those little tiny one inch pieces of which I have hundreds of them, except for when I need them. All right, and I'm gonna go Misty Moonlight on this one. This is still, a, this is a super cute card, super cute. Oops, let's see if we got it on there. We did. I'll take it. All right. Let your, oh, let's close this because you know I will drop something in the ink pad. All right. Now this, this one has turned out to be a little more deluxe, had a little more steps. We're going to notch this because I think it'll look really cute. You know you need your banners pick a punch. I really need to put the, the words on the other side. There we go. All right, we need one dimensional under here. Nope, it's not those. These. And then we'll add a glue dot on the other side. And I'm in fact gonna give this a little curl. Okay, one little 
glue dot. Maybe I should only make one card in a video. <laughs> when I make two, we always go a little long. Okay, and hold on. <laughs> I know I said I would be done. I did, but uh, yeah. Let's go with some silver. Then see, you gotta finish the card. Finish the card, all right. Oh yes, that looks pretty on top of the vellum. These are metallic pearls. They're in the annual. I love these. I use them all the time. Oops, hold on. It's going too far under. Let's put it up here. I think we have to go with a five because I want to put one here. One, two, three, four, and it's nice to do odd numbers. Sometimes symmetrical is good. And five. There we go. All right. So. Now, we have a Christmas card with three strips, and let's see, can you see the vellum? Look at the vellum. Look at that. That's really pretty. Okay. We have our original card with the three strips and the vellum and the little dies from the Eden's Garden, and we have our... Ooh, it's so pretty our gold vellum with our little emephra and our cute little panel and this is the blackberry sorry it is crooked I don't think I can fix it though it's gonna drive me crazy um I don't even know what blackberry bliss something paper so there you go if you have oh I'm really sorry about that Gave you a big wiggle there right at the end. If you have questions, comments, requests, you need to know anything about these products, or if you join late, um, go back to the beginning of the video and see all my information about the Eden's Garden early release and my Eden Garden Eden's Garden Stamp Camp offering. Um, send me an email at audremonk at yahoo.com um, or go check out my website at audremonk.stampitup.net. Okay, it's gratitude week, so look for surprise videos all week long, um, depending, I got a crazy schedule, but I'm going to fit them in there. We're going to make things. We're going to do yoga this week. Um, anything you need, let me know. I'll see you next time. Stay crafty.